Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January 2013. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. If you ever have the chance to get together with a group of astrologers, or perhaps you're an astrologer yourself or a student of astrology, and you're amongst those of us who take this tradition very seriously and have dedicated much of our lives to it, there is one theme that you will find come up again and again. And that is this idea of being in jobs that we really didn't like, didn't feel like we were being challenged, being in jobs and with bosses that we really didn't like, and finding ourselves maybe unceremoniously being let go on occasion as well. And this general overall inability to take the direction of another person and this determination to do what it is that you or the any given astrologer felt was right to do in that moment. This general feeling of rebelliousness that made it hard to be in a given profession where you had somebody who was supervising you. Okay, now I share this with you, not because I think it's going to be hard on the work front, far from it, that's totally not what I mean, but what I do think is that this month is going to help you take leaps and bounds towards understanding just what it is that not only you want to do, but what it is that you can really dedicate yourself to so that you actually excel in it. For astrologers, going back to my original analogy, for astrologers, one of the really fascinating things is that we look back at this and we see that all those situations, those bosses, those jobs, however they went were exactly how they were supposed to go so that we could end up in the profession that we were meant to. And when I look at the sky for you this month, I again, I'm not seeing overriding challenges as such, but I am seeing that there is a journey that you are taken on this month and it is throughout the month and it involves lots of ups and downs. The ups involve getting clarity as to what it is that you really want. The ups also involve having conversations with people in authority to you that help you clarify your direction, help you understand what it is that you're actually aiming for and where maybe you haven't been aiming high enough. And what I mean by that is it's almost as if you sort of decided on a direction, but there is a slight adjustment you could make that would lead to even greater achievement, but it does involve sort of altering your perception just a little bit. And there are bosses out there who are going to help you do that this month. And I'm also seeing this tension between you wanting to have fun, you wanting to enjoy your life and asking yourself, what am I working for, if not for the enjoyment, but also being asked to find enjoyment in the climb itself, in the career itself. A lot of us think, or an idea that's perpetuated out there is that you have to achieve a certain amount, making a certain amount of money, having a certain amount of impact or reach in order to be happy, in order to be satisfied with yourself, with your life or with your achievements. But time and time again, we see that that definition of what success is, is really very relative. And what is success for, let's say, going back to my astrologers, uh, the example I used, for a lot of us, it's just the privilege of being able to live our own lives on our own terms, doing something that we love. That is a huge reward for many astrologers out there. You may end up on the path of astrology, you might not, but regardless, what you do have this month is some really important considerations about how you're going to merge the enjoyable with the practical, with what it is that you desire to achieve. Also, where maybe your achievements have been falling short, maybe your achievements need to be aimed a little bit higher, but also some key interactions and conversations with bosses that really help you. If you can navigate this tension well, and it does look like you managed to navigate it extremely well, then you will have at least one big career victory this month. You've got to trust the tides, okay? You've got to trust what feels like a challenging question and what feels so easy to answer because it's almost like the answers that are the easiest to give might not be the most truthful for where you are now, but it is in that moment of being able to talk about these things and look at where you've been, where you are now, where you desire to go, that you uncover 
what it is that you can really make a huge splash at, what it is that you can really score a huge victory at. And with that clarity, you reach out and you grab gold. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.